strict rules and regulations. Zoid battles are fighting competitions held on enormous battlefields using mechanical combat units known as Zoids. The enthusiastic young warriors put their pride on the line and sharpen their skills against one another. Battle mode approved. Area scanned. Battlefield set up. Ready? Fight! Well, I've heard of losing streaks, but this is nuts. First we're invincible, then we're back to instant noodles in the desert. It's all that con man's fault, Lineback. We shouldn't have believed his line about being able to help us. Dr. Leon was his name, wasn't it? Well, I hope we run into him in a dark alley someday. Quiet! Can't a guy eat his meal in peace? Quit your whining! It's been a long time, my ferocious warriors. It's him! Yeah, that con artist! I'm looking for some test subjects for my new device. Interested? You got some nerve coming back to find us. We'll make you pay! You'll regret the day you met us! Let's just see about that. <laughs> you can't mess with we'll us! never forget a grudge! Certainly. You ruined us, man! Our savior, he says. Huh. This doesn't look good. What's he doing? up to. Hmm. Huh? Want me to call up the fire brigade? Or maybe the junk dealer? Looks aren't everything. This Zoid is a flying work of art. A techno geek like you couldn't possibly understand. <laughs> You haven't changed a bit, Oscar. Neither of you, Tauros. <laughs> <laughs> Water? No, thanks. Oscar Jamie's getting pretty good on that new Reynos. Oh, uh, yeah? Guess it's no surprise, seeing as his dad's the Wild Eagle. He reminds me a lot of you when you were young. Tauros, that's ancient history. <laughs> How long has it been since I've been back to the Jantala ruins? We used to hang out together a lot here. That reminds me, is Leon still getting on your case? Sure is. Just the other day, he swore he'd get revenge on me. Hmm. I feel bad about that. Forget it. Huh? Kid, you all right? <sighs> Kirkland. Don't worry. I'm here to help you, boy. Hey! That was the last one! Huh? I've never seen anything like it. They must have been starving. They're on such a huge losing streak, they really seem down and out. Man! Huh? Sorry, I, I didn't mean anything by that. We got sucked up into the sky so fast there wasn't even enough time to retaliate! Sucked into the sky? So that explains it. I took a quick glance at your zoids and they seem to have fallen from quite an altitude. The guy used some kind of anti-gravity surge. Anti-gravity? When are you guys gonna learn? If you're gonna go into combat, you gotta do it with people in your own league. Hey, what? You say you decided to make say that! Chill out, guys. Now tell us who did this to you. Don't even ask! We need to know if we're going to help you. Besides, I have my suspicions. I'll tell you. It was Dr. Leon. Thought so. 
Wonder where I am. <clears throat> You're finally awake. Hello there. I've seen you before. You gave me flowers once before. I'm flattered that you'd remember this ugly mug. Like some soup? <laughs> we put the barrier up to prevent escape, so don't try anything silly. My dad thinks you want to get revenge on him or something. That's not really true, is it, Dr. Layden? It's not Layden! The name's Leon! I'd like to go home now, Dr. Leon. Huh? No! I don't know why you have such a huge problem with my dad, but kidnapping me is hardly fair, is it? You've got it all wrong. Then enlighten me, Doctor. I admit that I'll resort to almost anything to seek my vengeance against your father. That's true. But the reason I brought you here against your will isn't that I wanted to keep you as a hostage. I brought you because I couldn't bear to see you get drawn into the battle that's about to begin. You don't even know me. I know it sounds silly, but you look so much like your mother. I can't look at you without seeing her. I look like Mom? We've known each other since our Zoid Academy days. Hey, my dad's there with you too. Leon and I majored in different areas at the Academy, but we were still the best of friends. If you two are such good buddies, then whatever happened to you? The whole mess started with a love letter. Okay, now you got my attention. I'm serious. Hmm. Leon had asked me to write a love letter on his behalf. I could hardly say no. She was the only woman I ever truly loved in my entire life. Hey, do I really look like her? Huh? Like my mom, I mean. <laughs> uh, uh, the resemblance is striking. She was... <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, continue. Uh, so you asked my dad to write a love letter to my mom on your behalf. Then what happened? <clears throat> I'm glad you asked, young lady. Your father betrayed me. He went behind my back and signed his name to that love letter. Hmm? My dad did? That's right. I was stunned. <laughs> Your father stole my girl away from me. <gasps> she was the only one I could ever love so deeply. And then he went... How uh, romantic! What was that? He betrays his friend and runs off with his love. I had no idea my dad was capable of such passion. It's beautiful. Uh, you're missing the point here. <laughs> what? The Blitz team will only fight in official Zoid battles, not your unsanctioned matches. Oh, that's just so typical. Squirming your way out of your duties, finding ways to take whatever you want. You know what I mean. There's no point in trying to get me all riled up, Leon. I'm still not going to fight you. You spineless coward! <laughs> <sighs> well, I suppose I can't blame you for declining. After all, you and your rickety hover cargo wouldn't stand a chance against my latest weapon. Rickety? Is that what I heard? That's right, Toros. Your hover cargo is as useless as a rusty old drum barrel. Rusty old drum barrel? You got it. Maybe now you'll come meet me at the Gentella Ruins. We'll see which is more powerful, my whale king or your old rust bucket. What do you think? I think that we should ignore the old windbag. Yeah, we wouldn't get any points even if we won. I'll pay you double to go into this match. Yeah! <laughs> What are you guys tagging along for? Well, why wouldn't we? I don't know what this is about, but I'm sure it'll be a good match. Besides, I want to see you get back at that con artist, Dr. Leon. Think of us as your support team, Bit. Yeah, right. Who wouldn't want to be cheered on by the lowest-ranked warriors in the league? Low blow! <laughs> <laughs> No surprise. Well, I guess he hasn't gotten here yet. Huh? 
Toros. Long time. Leon. Like my gift? I assure you there's plenty more where that came from. Don't you think it's fitting that we should have our final combat at the site where it all started? Set to launch Command Wolf. Mobilizing. Jamie here. Set to mobilize the Reynos. Somewhere. Hey, you're Jamie's dad. <laughs> I don't really follow. Your dad made me promise that I'd never tell anyone about it. But after Leon asked him to write the love letter, your dad came to me and asked me to do it for him. Hmm? So in the end, my dad didn't write Dr. Leon's letter, you did? You got it. And this whole mix-up started when I accidentally signed the letter Steve Toros instead of putting Leon's name on it. What? <laughs> Look at them all. This is crazy. We don't have enough ammo for this. Dog, do something. <laughs> Maybe this will make you realize that my transport carrier is superior to any ordinary whale king. This perfect and elegantly customized transporter is equipped with an overwhelming number of zoids. It is a whale king beyond all others. It is the great whale king. Your ridiculous hover cargo with its four zoids could never match its power. <laughs> you the destructive power of the Great Whale King. It's comparable to a death horror. 50 caliber main gun and four turrets of twin 60 millimeter guns. A series of 50 caliber Aiden guns on the port and independent 50 caliber Daffa cannons. Equip the hover cargo with a shield after all our battles. This thing's so powerful, I can deflect shots fired from a Death Soros charged particle gun. So much for your big plans to destroy my hover cargo. Your big whale king cracks me up. It's more like a shrimp weed. <laughs> I'll get you! <laughs> Don't fool yourself. I can reach speeds of 980 kilometers an hour! With my twin charge particle boosters, this baby can fly as high as the stratosphere! That's supposed to impress me? The Zoi Magnite armor on this can withstand the pressure of 1,000 meter depths, so I can even operate in the deep sea! There they are! Big deal. My Whale King's even got a home theater with a 200 inch screen in it! Oh, yeah? Well, I've got full climate control in every room! This battle started to get a bit too weird for me. No, no kidding. kidding. Oscar here, Leon. Tauros is innocent. He's not your real enemy. That love ladder was... Ah! I have yet to show you the true ferocity of my great whale king. Prepare yourselves for the most terrifying ride of your lives! Is that light? What is it? It's an anti-gravity surge! All units, fall back to the hover cargo! Hurry! Stratosphere. <laughs> I don't know if we can make it. No choice. Mobilize the Schneider on the double. 
You want me to go back out? Trust me, I have a plan. Hurry! knows when to give it up, does he, Doc? Wee, 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 all the way home! <laughs> all right, we won! <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guess that means we'll be seeing more of Leon. Couldn't have won without you. Thanks for all your help. I'll be back, Toro! Join Naomi's team, Flugel? What kind of a guy is he? He pilots a red blade, Liger! Hey, you're Leon Toros, former leader of the Blitz team! Okay, I'll take you on, and I'll show you what an invincible team me and my Liger Zero make. Next time on Zoids, the red rival, Leon Toros, returns. Ready? Ready? 